Okay, we're now we are on step 16. And uh, step 16, it's gonna be a very busy step. <laughs> There's quite a lot of information on here. Um, let's pop in the information that we need, first of all, about the components, shall we? So from bag C, so a new bag, we need BA3, which is a three by 20 millimeter screw. So make sure you get these right. Um, these, uh, offer these up to the drawing so you get them right. Okay, so two of those. The reason why I say that is because BA4, which is three by 18 millimeters, well, that's only two millimeters difference to BA3. So you just need to make sure you get these the right way around. Okay. Uh, believe that the color of this is slightly darker shade than the BA4. So they do try to help you distinguish between the two. Um, so anyway, back to BA4s, we need three of those, uh, four of those, which are the three by 18 millimeters. We also need two of the BA5s, which are three by 15 millimeter screws. So we've got two of those. Then we need these screws. They're almost like a grub screw, but they are longer. They are 15 millimeters long. So they are the three by 15 millimeter. And Tammy, I called them a screw, but there's no screw head on them. Um, like I say, they're like a, like a grub screw. Um, I think there is a hollow here, which your uh, Allen driver wrench will go in. Yeah, there is, so that you can screw those into the um, 60, uh, the six millimeter adjusters that we're gonna be putting them onto. So that's quite nice. We've also got BA12s, which are the locking nuts. They're the ones with the little nylons. We need eight of those, the BA12s, three millimeter locking nuts. We also have the six by six ball collar. We got um, eight of those as well. Um, they're these guys. Uh, like I said, for our screw, our three by 15 millimeter screw, we also have our adjusters. We got uh, 16 of those. We need the BC8, two of those, which are seven by 48 millimeter uh, shafts. Um, they're aluminum shafts. Well, we've got two of those you can see. We've got the BA7s, the 68 millimeter long, uh, so seven by 68 millimeter long shaft. We need six of those, as you see there. We also need, if you look in the drawing, we need these D6 components from the D tree. So that's these like spacers, and there are slightly different, uh, also a D7 ones as well. So we need D6s, we need about six of those, and the D7s, and, and they're slightly different. So D6s. As you might be just about make out there, the, they're slightly um, th thinner than the D7s. Okay, so two of the D7s. So break the step down. We're going to break the step down a bit because it's quite a long step. And we're going to break it down to do the, the main components here, which are going to be the, um, the, the links, the, the chassis links. And then we're going to attach them to the chassis with the relevant spacers. All right. Uh, we're also going to use a little bit of thread lock. OK. All right. So the first part of this step is we need to take one of these BC3 screws, pop our hex driver through. We need to screw this into the BB6, which is the six millimeter adjuster. Try and keep it nice and straight as you can, both both planes. And we need to screw this all the way through until we get seven millimeters, roughly, I reckon, about there. Oh, it's close. Look at that, six and a half ish. <laughs> half a millimeter makes all the difference. Um, so there you go, seven millimeters. Okay, so I've got to do this 16 times. So um, I'm not going to show you 16 of me doing this, um, but yeah, just screw the screw into there 16 times to make 16 of these. And here we have those components now put together. So the BC3, which is the 3 by 15 millimeter screws, I've screwed in to the BB6s, which is the 6 millimeter adjusters, and there's 16 of them. Uh, just using basic handles, ruler and your Allen driver. Okay, could use the Allen key, but I've got one of these, makes it easier. 
So we move on to the next step of this, which is to attach them into the actual BC8s and the BC7s using a bit of thread lock and not forgetting the BB5, the six by six millimeter uh, ball collar. Okay, so let's do the next step of this, the next part. So we're gonna take our assembled ball ends and our, um, this is the BC8, which is the seven millimeter by 48 millimeter, but uh, the same whether you're using the BC7, which is the seven by 68 millimeter, you're putting the same connectors into here. So um, a little bit of thread lock uh, onto the actual thread here. So here's our thread lock. Put a little bit of thread lock on there. Which is the same with these thread locks. Look like you're getting a large amount, but it's actually a small amount. So a bit of thread lock on there. Um, and what we're going to do is thread this in and it's going to be, it's going to pop out there, thread this in both sides and attach these in. They're threaded bars anyway, so not a problem. So that's one side in and that's two sides in. And all you've got to do is make sure that these are at right angles to each other, which is about there, which is why you have the thread lock on there. So it locks it in place, which is good. And then you take one of the ball collars and you pop that in to one of the ends. So there, and I'm gonna just use the, cut, the base here just to push it through. There we are. Okay, so I've now got to make up the other one of the short and then six of the long using the same method. And here you have all of our links. We've got the two of the BC8s, which are the 7 by 48 millimeter links with their adjuster ends on and the ball collar installed. Uh, two of those and the same again with the BC7s which are the 7 by 68 millimeters uh, again both the six millimeter adjusters on each end and your six millimeter ball collar is in place as well so six of those so as you can see the components are starting to small down uh, we need to now install these links onto the chassis um, using the remaining hardware that we have and our spacers. We've got the front section and we've got the rear section. I'll show you how it's done. What we need to do now is we need to attach the chassis links to our chassis. So this is the front of the chassis and this is the rear of the chassis. So we turn that the way, the way it is in the drawing and we've got to attach the short chassis links through this hole here using the hardware in the drawing and the spacers, which are the D7s down here. And we've got to put the longer of the chassis links to this section, this hole here on both sides. Okay, this hole here. Again, using the correct hardware and the D6 spacers. And there you have the chassis links. The longer ones go here and the shorter ones attach down the bottom. Okay, so we now have those in place. We need to do the rear.
but there we have now our rear chassis links on the rear of the chassis as well so the bottom ones and the top ones so that is step 16 completed <laughs> wow i don't know if i'm going to be able to get this let's see if i can zoom out here we go here we are wow there you go that is a chassis <laughs>